HSC TV and HSC News are public forums for student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions expressed do not represent those of HSC schools or the Board of School Trustees. Good morning, HSC. I'm Kenley Johnson. And I'm Ashley Courtney, and this is your newscast for Friday, November 6, 2015. Come out to Sky Jam every Saturday night. One and a half hours of jump includes two slices of pizza and a drink. To start off your newscast, here's Ian Baker and Tyler Schindler with a segment over the HSC bowling team. There are many sport teams here at HSC, but a lesser known one is the bowling team. So we decided to give you an inside look on what it's all about. We first met up with the coach to learn a little bit more about the teams as a whole. My name is Coach Paul. My role is the coach for the high school boys and girls bowling team. I've been coaching the team four out of the six years that the bowling team has been around. We have ten boys and we have seven girls on the high school bowling team. Competitions are on Thursday at 4.30 at Woodland Bowl. We then met up with Chase Nelson, captain of the men's bowling team, to learn a little bit more about himself. Uh, I'm Chase Nelson. I am the co-captain of the men's bowling team. Uh, I started bowling my freshman year, so that would have been 2012-2013. Uh, uh, my average is uh, 180. What I decided, because one of my friends uh, freshman year said, hey, come try out for the bowling team. I was like, sure, why not? And uh, I started off bad, but then found a love the sport. Finally, we met up with Abigail Ross, the captain of the women's bowling team, to learn a little bit more about herself and her role on the team. I'm Abigail Rost. I'm the captain of the high school bowling team. Uh, freshman year, I was on the bowling team because I like to meet new people and just bowling's fun in general. For HSC TV, this has been Ian Baker and Tyler Schindler. Three things you know for today are, a male student at the University of California Merced stabbed four people on campus as classes began Wednesday morning and was later fatally shot by campus police, a school spokesperson said. Two of those stabbed were transported for treatment via helicopter, the school said on Twitter, while the other two were treated on campus. A child who was reported missing in Alabama 13 years ago has been found safe and unharmed in Cleveland, Ohio. Authorities say Julian Hernandez was in the legal custody of his mother when he disappeared on August 28, 2002. He was five years old at the time. Star Wars superfan battling terminal cancer is asking Disney to grant one last wish, to let him see the new Star Wars film before he passes away. Daniel Fleetwood of 32 Spring, Texas learned in July that he has spindle cell sarcoma, a form of connective tissue cancer. Fleetwood's oncologist told him he only had two months to live. Fleetwood is more than just your average superfan. The hashtag Force for Daniel was born, and it's even been retweeted by Star Wars actors Mark Hamill, Peter Mayhew, and John Boyega. Interested in this cause? Use the hashtag Force for Daniel to weigh in on this topic. To end your announcements for the day, we leave you with a segment about the HSC Art Students with Kyle Johnson to end your newscast. HSC TV decided to talk to some HSC artists to further understand their enjoyment with art and why it's what they love to do. If you think about it, every single thing in the world was developed and designed and an idea created by somebody. So whether, like too many people think that drawing or painting or sculpture is what art is, but it's so much more than that. I would probably say my theme is like big issues based because right now for my college portfolio I'm doing like an environmental destruction um, series of works. I would probably say one of my biggest inspirations right now is Frida Kahlo because her works are so like, they started basically self-expressionism, not really, but like her self-expressionism is just phenomenal. Right now, I, I concentrate mostly on like teenage imagery and it's all like figurative, like it's all about teenagers and like everyday life. Um, it's mostly because like my entire life I've like grown up watching these movies and like listening to this music like The Breakfast Club and like Space Storm of Death and it's all about like I mean, I've always had like this buildup that like my teenage years are supposed to be like like the best days of my life. This has been Kyle Johnson.
for HSC TV News. Don't forget to follow HSC TV on social media for more news and school updates.